Hey guys, this is Michael Fell, aka the Kangaroo Cop, and this is my first video of what will hopefully be many, based on virtually everything to do with Liverpool Football Club. Uh, whether it be transfers during the off season right now, uh, tactics during the season, analysis of games during the season, basically anything that goes on to do with Liverpool Football Club, I have an opinion on, as I'm sure lots of you do too. So I want to get my opinion out and see what you guys think about it as well. So the first thing I want to talk about is the appointment today of Kevin Keane as the new first team coach at Liverpool. Um, after Sammy Lee was announced to be leaving the club a few days ago, I think it's very good for the Liverpool to have announced his replacement virtually straight away. Um, Kevin Keane has worked before with Steve Clark, the other first team coach at West Ham. He was at West Ham for over 10 years, he was first team coach for over 5 years. He was caretaker manager on three separate occasions, including the last that match of the season last year. So I think he's a very experienced campaigner and a good signing for Liverpool's coaching staff. Uh, personally, I believe that a good, solid coaching staff is much more important than any player signings. Obviously, they work hand in hand, but for any team to be successful, you need three quality coaches, including a manager and two first team coaches which is exactly what Liverpool has now, uh, with three British coaches who all know the game well, they can get along well with each other. I think this is a very good sign for Liverpool Football Club. So the last thing I want to talk about is transfers of the club during this summer transfer season. Um, first thing is Jordan Henderson, I know I'm a bit late on this, but he was announced as our first signing of the summer transfer season for a price of up to their same 20 million pounds. Um, originally it was said that David and Go could go to Sunderland as part of the deal and he was rated around seven or eight million pounds. But now that seems unlikely due to Connor Wickham joining Sunderland. Uh, it seems we're gonna have to pay up to 20 million in cash for him. Um, I still don't think that's too bad a deal for the club. Uh, young British talent obviously comes to price nowadays. Jordan Henderson is a quality player, he's a versatile player, he can play on the right of midfield, the centre of midfield, he's even filled in a right back on the odd occasion to Sunderland, and I think working alongside quality midfielders like Steven Gerrard, Alberto Aquilani, potentially Raul Morales, they'll all give him a lot of experience and improve his game tremendously, so Jordan Henderson, thumbs up for me. Um, in terms of future signings, the name that's most been linked with Liverpool in the last few days is Charlie Adam. It was reported that he was very close to a green deal with Liverpool for around 9 to 10 million pounds, but that figure has slightly hit a hitch the last few days. It's been said that John Joe Shelby and or Danny Wilson could be heading to Blackpool in the other direction for season long loans, which I think could be a good food for both clubs because Shelby and Wilson are both two of the brightest young British prospects going around, getting some first team football in the championship for a quality team for about a year would do good for both of them. And it also means we could get Charlie Adam for a bit cheaper. People are also saying that signing Adam would be a bit unnecessary for the club. But again, I disagree with this. I think that potentially in a formation of 4-3-3, which I think Kenny is thinking of playing this year, with a middle three of Henderson on the right, Adam on the left, and potentially Gerrard holding in the middle in a bit more defensive role this year, that will be an extremely strong midfield, an extremely strong British midfield, with all three players complementing each other well. It's also been said that Raul Morelos could be shipped out by Liverpool within the next few weeks to either Inter Milan or Juventus for around £12 million. And again, some people aren't too happy with this, saying that he's one of our best players last year. But again, I wouldn't be too displeased with Morales leaving. I think he lacks a bit of creativity and pace on the ball. And signing Adam and Henderson would easily replace him. So, Adam for Morales, we gained a few million pounds. I think that would be some good deals for Liverpool. Um, another main player being linked with the club is Stuart Downing, who is supposedly going to cost around 20 million pounds, which again is quite a lot. But for British talent, he's 25 years old, not too old. He's in probably the prime of his career. 
I think he's signing down would be a good sign. Would be good for the club. Oh, he's left footed. He has one of the sweetest left boots in British football. And with an attacking trio of potentially Suarez on the left, Downey on the right, Carroll up front, that would be very good. Getting good balls in for Carroll the whole time. Those three would again complement each other well. Um, Downing is faster than people give him credit for, and he has a stronger right boot than people give him credit for. So Stuart Downing, if we could get him for a bit less than $20 million, I think he's definitely a good signing. Uh, Juan Mata and players like Dimitri Payet, Payet, excuse my pronunciation, also been linked, but Payet joined Lille in the meantime. Mata has been strongly linked with Arsenal. So I'd say Downing is probably the most viable option out of those three at the moment. Uh, the next main position we're looking to recruit is left back, obviously. Um, Gail Clichy was reportedly our main target, but he's now supposedly on the verge of joining Man City for around £7 million. Pounds. We were offering around £5 million. Um, I don't think this is too bad news for Liverpool. If we can get Jose Enrique instead of Gail Clichy, I think that would be some astute business for the club. Enrique offers a lot more solidity at the back. He has a sweet left boot. He's faster than people give him credit for. And yeah, most of all, it gives a lot of strength to our back line, which we do need at times. Um, Enrique would cost around seven to eight million pounds as well, which isn't too much around the same as Clichy. He's 25 years old. So Enrique, I wouldn't be too unhappy with. Emilio Izaguirre, again pronunciation, I'm not sure, on Drew's International from Celtic, he's been linked, I don't rate him that much, I'd say Enrique should be our main target right now. Um, in terms of other signings, after missing out on Conor Wickham, we were supposedly interested in him as our striker, backup striker this year, I think a uh, new striker to back up Suarez and Carroll should be right up on our shopping list as well. Um, we've been linked with players like Park Chu Young, captain of Monaco, uh, Bojan from Barcelona, Jeff Ren from Barcelona as well. Any of them would be pretty good signings, I reckon. Um, they wouldn't cost too much. They're good quality players to have as strength and depth. Football, especially in the Premier League, is a squad game nowadays. Um, so any of them would be a good signing. Uh, centre back, we've also been looking around. Scott Dan, a former Liverpool season pass holder, he's been linked with the club, but he is supposedly coming at around twelve million pounds, which even though he is British, that is pretty outrageous, I believe. Uh, Christian Zapata from Udinese has been highly linked as well in the last few weeks. He has supposedly agreed terms with Villarreal. But has, that hasn't been announced, so I think Zapata would be a good signing. Dan, if we can get him for a bit less. Finally, goalkeeper replacement goalkeeper Brad Jones is on his way out. People say uh, Doni, the former Brazil international, has been said to was almost about to join the club, but he has said that he would have to take a sixty percent pay cut to join Liverpool. Um. We're now supposedly still negotiating to sign Doni, who I think would be good. Um, in any Premier League winning team, you need a lot of experience. A uh, backup goalkeeper such as Doni, who has played for Brazil. He has played for Roma for many years. He's been their first choice goalkeeper for every year up until this year. He would be very good backup to Pepe Reina. And it would mean Pepe wouldn't have to play every single game. He'd be able to get a rest wouldn't become possibly so dissatisfied with having to be the man that Liverpool rely on all the time. So basically that's it for now, the 4th of July. Um, I'll hopefully have another blog coming up soon when any big news comes out associated with Liverpool. But for now, I want you guys to comment, tell me what you think about everything. Do you think we need Charlie Adam? What formation, what players do you think Kenny needs to sign for next year? What are your predictions for the team this year or just anything to do with football? Comment, subscribe, talk to me, work out a way to talk about it. I'm always up for a chat about anything to do with football. So yeah, subscribe, comment, see you soon hopefully. Cheers.